I'm Caro Wilson and I'm chair of the history subcommittee of the Friends of Mill Road Cemetery. And all the people that you can see here are volunteers for that subcommittee, except for Tim, who's the guy holding the wand thing. Tim works for the local ordnance survey and he gives us a volunteer day from time to time to come and map the location of the graves in the cemetery because there is no definitive map and there are no definitive records. The cemetery is divided into parish plots and we're in the plot for the parish of Great St Mary. Uh, what happened was when the city churchyards all got full in the 1840s, all the vicars of the city got together and decided to buy this plot off Mill Road, which used to be the university cricket ground before it moved to Fenners. They divided the area up into parish plots and from then on that's where their dead were buried. What Tim is doing is holding his wand in the centre of a grave and receiving information from 17 satellites that are whizzing overhead and that gives him a very precise location point. About two years ago I was looking for a grave for somebody um, and the numbers on the map that was um, provided by the Cambridgeshire Family History Society survey in 2002 did not correspond with the number of the grave that I'd got an inscription for. I just I couldn't find about uh, 50 graves. So I started to do a bit of searching and I discovered that some of those graves that I was missing had actually been placed in the parish next door. We are in St Mary the Great and they put them in to the parish of Holy Trinity. We have come in twos and threes and we've recorded all the errors, um, where exactly the graves are. Um, Emma is using my little book that I wrote row by row and we're marking out the rows today to make sure that uh, we stick in a line so that the map looks like what you see. Um, so we will have a brand new map which should be much neater than this one um, and uh, we've got 240 graves today that we're going to try and uh, plot um, but we may not finish. Um, we've done three other parishes um, but they were much smaller than this one. Good morning, I'm Cerise from Cambridge City Council and here on Mill Road Cemetery it's lovely to see the history group here today doing some mapping of the graves and they're doing an absolutely marvellous job. We're looking for... Aha, so that's the first green, so there's another one. So we're looking for Grace Olive Green uh, because we think we might have missed some of the inscription off on the website so we're just going back to double check. Um, so, that's one green, but then there's another green. Yes it is. A comma. Mm -hmm. You fell asleep. And in speech marks, at rest. Uh, after I fell asleep, I've got some stuff. No. Four. Twenty-two and then another dot, uh, 1928. There was a gravestone here hmm. that was all in bits um, because it had been vandalised and knocked over and broken. Hmm. Um, and the last time we had some restoration work done, the restorers figured out how it all fitted together, but they put it here because they didn't know where it should live. And we hmm. figured out that it should actually have been Would you like to do the honours, Alex? Yeah. So we moved it all back over here, where it's meant to be. Will that stay there like, like it is now? 
Or... Uh, unless we can get run funds for restoration, yeah. Right. Um, we're hoping that even if we can't restore the whole thing, we might be able to get that bit stuck back together again. How come the, the stone's different colours? It's just the way it's weathered. I think yeah. they've been lying and in I, different places. And I suspect places. when they were found and all put together, if you look at, say, this one, that side uh, has weathered the same as the other pieces. So I think this one, when it got knocked around, ended up lying that way for a long time. Yeah. Um, but now that we've figured it all out, it makes sense to put it all how it should be, rather than... Right. Well, I came here when I was about five years old with my mother, who would attend her mother and father's grave, which is just across the path there. Um, I was always kept in order. I wasn't allowed to run around the graves. I wasn't allowed to stand on any of the graves. Um, and I used to get a bit bored, but there again, uh, it was putting flowers on my grandmother's grave, which I didn't understand then. And uh, it, it's a, a nice memory now. I do remember the chapel in the middle and uh, it's a shame it went into ruin and they decided not to repair it. This is the council. There was a big pump on the side of the um, chapel which I used to find quite interesting and I, I love to um, pump the water up for the flowers of the grave. Um, I also have uh, a great grand, two great grandmothers buried here as well as a great aunt. Um, so there are lots of um, my family here. So that's why I got interested really.